Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the day I masturbated for science. Yeah, what a strange title. First of all, let me tell you how it all happened. A few years ago, I was watching um, a documentary about sexuality and in this documentary, I have no idea what it was called or anything, but, it, but I, I watched it late at night and um, it basically involved a couple going into an MRI scanner and they had to have sex and there was a team of scientists watching what was happening in their brain. So basically their brain activity while they were having sex and I just thought, wow, um, this would be... I just thought it, I found that whole situation really arousing because on one hand you've got a couple sharing a really intimate, romantic, sexual moment in strange in a strange environment and strange circumstances and then you've got these scientists with their white coats um, looking seriously at these screens and analysing the data and I've always loved the contrast between wild and contained or really something really sexual um, in a kind of formal environment. Anyway, so I, I found this whole situation incredibly arousing. So when I uh, met a scientist a few um, months later, um, we were having a glass of wine and I said, if you ever get the chance to measure my orgasm in a laboratory, let me know. And I thought nothing of it. <laughs> and, and then, as they say, be careful what you wish for. And so a few months later, I couldn't believe it, I was actually on set. Um, I'm also a commercial actress and I was on set for this um, advert. And so I couldn't really speak um, for, for, for a long time. So this scientist called me and said, um, I've got the laboratory. <laughs> and basically we, he'd organized um, um, a TV pilot. And in this TV pilot, I would be um, masturbating for science. So I couldn't believe it and I was like, what? Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. But um, of course I said yes. And I think it was, I think it happened the week after so I didn't have much time to think about it, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> and, but what I was really thinking about was the article I was gonna write afterwards, but I'll come to that later on. So, cause, what I, cause um, in my writing at the time, I was writing a lot for El País and um, a newspaper here in Spain. And I know all sex blogs are kind of the same. They've all got very similar topics. And I was always looking for experiences to talk about in first person. Because I'm not a, a sexologist. I mean, I'm not someone who has studied sexuality in an academic way. I'm, I prefer to live and share my own experiences and, and opinions. So, so I thought that this would be a, a unique experience to have my orgasm measured uh, and observed <laughs> in a laboratory. So um, when the big day came, I was really nervous. I was, honestly, I was really, really, really nervous. Um, and um, so I got up in the morning and got a taxi with my favorite rabbit at the time. This was actually before I was a sex toy tester. And this rabbit, interestingly, had batteries. And I, I brought lots of batteries with me and um, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but you know the batteries start fading down, and when you're getting, you know, um, when you're using a vibrator for a long time, then I just found that sometimes I have to change batteries mid um, mid masturbation session just to get a stronger vibration when I most needed it. Um, they're like problems of the past. I'm so glad now all, all of my toys are USB rechargeable. Anyway, um, so I only had this one toy and then some batteries and um, I went in a taxi to the University of Barcelona and it just felt completely surreal, you know, going in a taxi with a rabbit in your handbag and it was daytime, a beautiful sunny day and then I got um, wired up. I had this um, uh, mask on my face um, which was measuring my oxygen levels and then I had um, something on my finger for blood pressure and then all these electrodes on my chest so it looked and this uh, this um, laboratory was you know a bit of run down like a you know a, a university one so it wasn't um it wasn't as um I don't know <laughs> it wasn't as glamorous as the one I had fantasized about or the one I'd seen on this tv um documentary so um 
it was very, very, very hard for me to concentrate. And what happened was um, there was a curtain behind me and there was a team of scientists behind me looking at the screens which were showing everything that was going on uh, with my oxygen levels and blood pressure and I can't remember, heartbeat, I can't remember. Anyway, um, so, and they were, I could hear them talking behind me and uh, I, I asked for some music um, just to kind of, um, I don't know, to have a more relaxed atmosphere. And I remember the music was actually um, Massive Attack, Mezzanine, out the Mezzanine album. And I honestly don't really like the album too much. But, and, and one, my scientist friend was um, at my side and it almost seemed like a, a childbirth scenario, like I was just there concentrating. <sighs> but um, before I got to that point, I was, I, um, I was like covered up. I was, I, wearing, I was wearing a skirt so I didn't have to show any any intimate parts to anyone so so basically it was like that just really 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 concentrate on trying to get an orgasm as fast as possible but even though I have lots and lots of fantasies in this scenario with something I had fantasized about the reality was very different I was a bit in, um, intimidated by it all and and then um, after one song of um, Massive Attack the, the the album actually repeat the the song repeated so I got my um, scientist friend to, to actually um, to change the music and um, so that happened all the time I just thought I can't concentrate so every little thing was uh, a distraction basically and then the, the batteries were, were wearing down so I had to change the batteries and then start my fantasies over and over again and uh, so yeah so yeah it's very difficult for me to actually get into orgasm mode and then I got closer and closer and I felt this thing pinching my finger more and more and I heard this, these other scientists behind me behind this curtain saying she's getting close now and I thought ah and then I, then I kind of like missed out on that opportunity so I had to like start again so this whole process actually took 25 minutes which is a really really long time for me and uh, but when it did happen I was like yes ah and I came really, really, really hard after this massive, massive build up. And I was, I kind of, I don't know, I just completely, completely let go, not thinking about how many people were in the room. And it's interesting because these scientists, the, the ones who were behind the curtain, had all said previously that they hadn't told their wives that they would be doing this today. <laughs> so it was really, really, really scandalous in the end. Um, and it was incredible and, and what was really interesting is that from having lots of orgasms I would imagine that the graphs would have been like one peak at the beginning and then a few other peaks um, like just with, with less and less intensity however it was just as I remember it, it was just one peak on, on the three things that were being measured and it was and then the rest it was a quite a big dip after so I don't know, that was quite interesting. It was very, very interesting to see and then discuss these, this data afterwards in a formal manner. And I was just red and all zen and uh, it was incredible. And then just after the week after, I got the, the chance to write about it. And um, I wrote an article called The Day I Masturbated for Science um, in Spanish. El día que me masturbé para la ciencia. And, um, I published it in El Pais, the online version, and it got to number one. And it was number one for a couple of days, which was pretty cool, actually. Um, I was really, really, really happy, because I guess it was such a strange uh, topic, <laughs> very unique. And um, so, so that was an incredible, incredible experience. And they have the story of the day I masturbated for science. And I would absolutely love to repeat the exercise and investigate orgasm as much as I can because I think female orgasm needs more investigation. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my story and see you in the next video.